Welcome back to Texas Dragon Fruit, guys. Uh, today we're going to share information on rooting dragon fruit. This is stuff that I experiment with, stuff that I try and has been successful. I don't mind sharing. That's what we're all about here at Texas Dragon Fruit. We share what we find. That's what it's all about, guys. We're all trying to do better, and I don't mind sharing my information. So... Uh, I hope you enjoy this video. We're going to talk about how I move my uh, dragon fruit if I need to move them during the winter. Soil samples, and we're going to send that off and get analyzed and uh, see where we're at with the MPK and micronutrients and all that on our pots. We sample every pot and we mix the soil so we get a, um, a percentage off of everything. Some might go two inches surface roots uh, because there is micronutrients, a lot of different things on the surface, mid-range, all the way down to the base. All right, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, that's what we're here for. We're here to share information, stuff that I uh, uh, like doing. I'm not your conventional dragon fruit farmer. I'm not the conventional guy that uh, follows instructions on fertilizing and uh, foliars and things like that and i like experimenting so follow along like and subscribe ask questions that's what we're here for thank you guys we have a lot in store i'm going to show you a method on how to get roots on your cuttings in less than seven days it is very effective the research results of what we do here at texas dragon fruit and we don't mind sharing our findings dragon fruits some foliar sprays I don't know if I'm going to discuss that because I'm still working on that. But we're going to show you guys something that is happening. Why I don't tip my branches. Right there, guys. This was the uh, later part of December of 23. Nine months. And, I mean, you look at this. They are... Uh, growing all over the place now these guys they're taking a beating I probably could save maybe this greener one if I start hammering it with uh, some foliars and some micronutrients but I, I'm not gonna do that uh, I'm gonna let these things fall on their own like I was saying I'm not your conventional dragon fruit farmer or I am a farmer rancher in a commercial aspect but not in dragon fruit but I've been farming and ranching majority of my life, guys, and I always experiment. I don't follow instructions or directions on a lot of the stuff when I'm experimenting with it. And I fail and I succeed with certain things. And when I succeed with stuff, I like to share it. So, guys, support the channel. Um, this, is, this is what it's about, sharing your discoveries and letting people gain knowledge by what we do here at texas dragon fruit so uh, please like and subscribe this is what it's all about well here we go guys this is just a demonstration i use asunta five ventura cutting to root and you'll see that in a little while in less than seven days guys you'll get roots try it i i, I hope it works for you it's been very successful sometimes you'll get a hard-headed branch that don't want to come out but other than that i think this thing has been sent accurate for me so give it a try this is a stem cut you can cut it that same day you can stick it in your solution let it sit there for two hours an hour and a half two hours take it out let it dry your uh, rooting hormone and let it dry for an hour or two your uh, angle cut you're going to cut it let it sit two days three days stick it in your solution take it out let it let it dry i like soaking it because the solution will go up through the uh the core here through the wood and absorb in there a little bit and that's what's going to promote i'm going to show you an asunta 5 and tura and in less than seven days you will grow roots good luck guys let me know in your comments y'all have a great one thank you for stopping by Please like and subscribe. We appreciate it. Thank you. You're going to get a can, a jar. Put some uh, rooting powder in there. 
you're going to dip this in the rooting powder. Leave it in there for about an hour. Once that's been sitting in there for an hour, let it sit for another hour or two just to let it dry. And then you're going to set it in your box. I like cardboard. It does absorb humidity and moisture. It could help out in the process. The thing that I think that does this right is it's in a dark place. Less than seven days, guys. Let's open this up. Again, the cutting I used was Asunta 5 Ventura. And there you go, guys. See that? Not bad. I can almost assure you, you will get roots, guys. Try it. Let me know. Comment. I'm very confident with this method. I always use it. It's always been spot on for me. <laughs> Let me even show you something, guys. Let me show you something that I just noticed, too. Look at that. It's already throwing new branches. It works. Not only am I rooted, I already got a new branch. All right, we'll keep you posted on this. We're going to talk about soil sampling. I do a lot of research. I, I love agriculture. I've used a lot of different foliars, uh, granular fertilizers on my uh, farm. The hay, potash, urea, you name it. I've done them all. So I'm going to send some samples. We're going to get them analyzed. And our next video, we'll talk about it. We'll see what our nit nitrum nu uh, nutrients are, where we're at, and how we start. Well, guys, today we're soil sampling. Uh, we're going to have the soil analyzed. When you do soil sampling from your pots, you want to take some... Look at the Cena Spinas, guys, beautiful. An inch off the top, go to your next one, take it two inches, three inches, four inches, 10 inches, eight inches. Because you have a lot of surface root. You look at this stuff right here. These all take in nutrients. These are um, live roots. So they do absorb a lot of nutrients off the top. There's a lot of surface roots. Now, you do want to go deep with your roots that's why you do a deep watering or a good soaking every once in a while because you do want your roots to go down so that they can absorb moisture from the base of your pot down there because a lot of your nutrients do go down with your these are fairly new pots i mean not even maybe five months that i potted these i think you want to dig some of these go down 10, 12 inches. They're all, like I said, there is roots. I can see roots down there at the base of this. So I go to different depth, and we're going to see where we're at with the MPK, other minerals, other micronutrients that are feeding these beasts. They all look really great, guys. So, all right, we'll keep you posted. I'll get the uh, soil analysis and try to post that on the, uh, on the channel. I had mentioned this to one of my viewers asking me that how do I move my pots and this is it right here guys. This is a uh, to move 50 gallon drums. I'll have a link to it. They're not any more expensive. If you click on my link and you purchase it through my Amazon store, I appreciate it. Anything that I have on the bottom guys, it doesn't cost you any extra. It's just a little commission they're giving me on the sale. If you don't mind, click on my links. If you feel like purchasing some of these, I did change the wheels and I got those at Harbor. You know that freight company.